today on Mana Studio. Bye bye, Adobe. Welcome to Mana Studio. My name is Nathan. With me, as always, is my tech director, Ronald. Back there behind the keys, just chilling, like dinosaurs tend to do. They're very chill creatures, if you didn't know. So today we're going to talk about something that is a huge expense for a lot of churches that may not need to be at all, and that is the Adobe Creative Suite. So if you're an Adobe fanboy or fangirl, then you're already mad at me because of what I said in the intro. I'm very sorry. I want to make it clear I don't have anything against Adobe. That's not true. I do have some issues with Adobe. I should say I don't have any issues with the products they've created. I mean, they basically revolutionized the graphic design software game with Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign. So can't fault them for that. What does bother me is that now everything is subscription based, which makes it more expensive. It looks less expensive, but it's not. It's $600 a year for the creative suite. So that's $600 every year. I you used to pay that for just the thing forever, but now it's every year. So I haven't used those uh, big three graphic Adobe products in a long time. That's Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. I've tried to find other programs that I could use, and some of them kind of did some stuff medium well, but not everything, and not great. But now, I think I have a legitimate replacement for the Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign suite. And that is Affinity. So there are three Affinity programs. They're called Photo, for Photoshop, Designer, for Illustrator, and publisher for InDesign. I'm going to switch those up this entire video, just so you know. <laughs> I'm going to mix those up. So they're fantastic programs, and one of the best parts is they're really cheap. As you can see right now, they're $25 a piece. Normal price is $50, $25 a piece right now. Now, every time I've gone on in like the last year, they've been $25. So I don't want to guarantee that they'll be that price when you go and look, but I think that's a pretty common sale that they have is for $25 a piece. So you can get Designer, Affinity Photo, and Affinity Publisher for $75 for all three, which is a month and a half of the Adobe Creative Suite. A month and a half. <laughs> so for the price of basically one month of using Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, you can have a lifetime of these apps. That's a pretty good deal, I'd say. Also, something else they have that I really think is cool is these official workbooks. So they're like an official manual for the software, but also they teach you the skills and they go up and they give you projects to do, um, shows you how to use it, shows you how to do all these different things. Um, these are actually more expensive than the actual pieces of software, but they're really cool. If you're really into this and you're gonna try to use them kind of professionally or all of the time for your job, then these workbooks might be a good idea. They're, they're super cool looking. But enough about the books. What's most important, of course, is do these work well as replacements for the Adobe products? Again, Adobe fanboys and girls, don't hate me. Just trying to save some money for some churches. So let's take a quick look at all three. This is not going to be a how to use them tutorial. One, because that would take forever. And two, because I would be a terrible person to do that because I'm a super novice on all of these programs. But I just want to show them to you very quickly. You can see them down here. We have Affinity Photo, Designer, and Publisher. We'll start with Photo. That's the replacement for Photoshop. Again, Designer is for Illustrator, and Publisher is for InDesign. So here's what you get when you start it up. These are just some resources and stuff. If you click on this new document tab, I love this. There's all kinds of templates for you to use. You got print, press ready, photos, web, devices. I mean, it's got iPads and iPhones and all kinds of stuff. Um, so these are pre-made uh, canvas sizes or templates you can use. So let's just go with, uh, sure, let's go with this one. You can also customize all that on the side. 
All right, so it's set up very much like Photoshop, kind of somewhere between Photoshop and GIMP, I think is what the look is. So here on the side, you have all of your normal tools that you would have in Photoshop, uh, you know, paintbrushes, text, erasers, movement tools, eyedroppers, all that sort of things. And all of your uh, toolbars up here will change with each tool. So this is where you control each tool. Again, it's all gonna be very similar to Photoshop. Over here you have your inspectors, so at the top you have your histogram, your color, your swatches, your brushes. This is one thing I like about uh, Affinity that isn't so good with some of the open source options like GIMP is it comes with a lot of uh, good things like brushes and, and uh, graphics and different shapes and things like that that you can use. So good collection of brushes. Then down here you have your adjustments, your layers, effects like your blurs and such. These are just pre-made styles they have. I like this too. I don't know if Adobe has this. They might have this for their own stock service, but it'll search Unsplash or Pexels or Pixabay for photos that you want to use. So those are all uh, royalty-free, free photo download um, websites. So let's search like uh, search guitar. That's thematic for me. So here we have guitar photos, uh, and I can drag one over and add it to my canvas. How cool is that? So there's just a stock photo right there. You can search three different places as well. So that's really cool, especially if you're making church graphics where you use a lot of stock photos, which you might, or YouTube uh, thumbnails or anything like that. And then of course, you know, like we said, here's a, all your adjustments. You can white balance it, brings up the controls down here. Uh, all these, I'm not gonna go through all of these. Very Photoshop-esque. All right, so that's Affinity Photo. Again, we'll do, 90% of the things that Photoshop will. For all of these programs, it will do most of what you need and it will it will be perfect for 90% of the people who do this in churches. If you're like a full-time professional designer who uses these programs all of the time for everything, then you might still have to stick with Adobe for multiple reasons. Um, but for almost all designers in churches, they just design graphics for their churches, maybe they're worship leaders, pastors, maybe they're even a graphics guy on staff. This is probably going to do the job for 90% of people. Again, for the price of basically one month of Creative Cloud. All right, so that is the photo. Uh, I don't wanna save. So next up, we'll go with designer. So this is your replacement for Adobe Illustrator. Again, we'll open up the same way. New document, you have, again, all of your templates. Um, you can customize them all here on the side, and then you can make your own templates here, or you can buy them in the Affinity Store. So we'll select that again. Just like Illustrator, and just like Photoshop before, you got all your tools over here, all your typical design tools. Selection, node tool, um, pens, uh, photo, oops, photo, uploads um, got all your shapes here you can select all these different shapes as well again this is one of the things that some of the open source ones don't do as well as they don't have as many stock options text all of that same up here your tools will change same over here we have our brushes our strokes our appearance and then down here layers effects styles text styles and stock photos again let me just add a trapezoid, why not? There's my trapezoid. So you know, you got all your effects, you got your, your blurs, your glows, your 3D. Again, I'm not gonna go through all of this stuff, but very similar to Illustrator. Um, I used to use Inkscape as a free option, but it hasn't been working so well with my computer. And I do find that this works much better, much smoother, and has a lot more options. So that is designer, that's your replacement for illustrator. Nope, don't wanna save. And then finally, we have publisher. This is the one that I'm least familiar with. So this is the replacement for InDesign, which I think most people designing in churches use either uh, illustrator or Photoshop. Probably not a lot of InDesign unless you're a professional and you're making like print ready things or you're just super into graphic layout software. So I don't use this one much either. I got it because when I do things like make CDs for Reawaken Hymns, I have like the six panel CDs I had for the last album. I had to download an InDesign template, 
put it in this and put all my stuff in the right place. And really, you couldn't do that with much other than uh, InDesign at the time. So I actually paid for a month of InDesign so that I could just make that CD template. Now, I spent the same amount and have this forever. So that's nice. And that brings me to another important point. You can open Adobe files with these. You can open Illustrator, InDesign, and Photoshop files with the respective replacements here. Like every other cross file app opening, it's not gonna be perfect. Some things aren't gonna work exactly right, but you can open those. So if like me, you need a template and they give you an InDesign template, you should be able to open it just fine with Publisher. So this is gonna feel repetitive because it's very much like the other things, but you have all of your layout uh, tools here on the other side. Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I think I pressed the button. So these look a little different um, than the other two because these are for layouts. You have your text and your boxes that you add things to, tables, that sort of thing. Um, pages, assets, stock, that's kind of where you organize your document. And then over here, more similar to the others, you have swatches, colors, layers, paragraphs, text styles, that sort of thing. So very much like InDesign. Now let me show you something ultra cool. Now I don't know if you can do this with Adobe or not. You can tell me if you can in the comments if you use Adobe. But once you're in these programs, you can switch to the other ones in the same app. They're called personas. You can see the three icons up here. So I'm editing my document, say here in uh, Publisher. I can then click on this photo persona or designer persona. And now it's giving me all the designer tools editing that same doc that I was editing in Publisher and then click on photo. It'll give me all the photo tools. Of course, you have to own the ones that you, the, the personas, you can't use them if you don't buy them. But if you have all three programs, you can switch between them. So I love that. Don't know if Adobe does that. Let me know if, if it does uh, in the comments below. All right, so that is the Affinity creative suite. That's not what it's called because that's probably copyrighted by Adobe, but that's what it is. So you got your replacements for InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop. And legit, honestly, I believe that this can replace those for 90% of churches and for much, much cheaper. Again, $75 for all three programs and you own them forever. That's as much as a month and a half of the Adobe Creative Suite. So the exception to that, I would say, is if you also use Adobe's other media apps like video editing and Premiere, using After Effects, you're using Audition, then yeah, you might as well just buy the Creative Suite, then you'll kind of have these three apps, the Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop for free because you're using the other ones anyway. But if you're just using it for graphics and you're really just using those three graphic apps, Affinity is a fantastic replacement for churches, can save you a ton of money over the long run, basically $600 a year after the 75 bucks you spend on them. So I just wanted to show you those to you. Again, this is not an in-depth tutorial on any of them. There's tons of those on YouTube and you can check out more features. I think they also have trial versions, I think, so you can see if they'll actually work as a replacement for you. So let me know what you think. Is this a good option to replace Adobe for you? If it's not, let me know why not. I would love to hear the reasons why maybe these programs won't work to replace Adobe for you and your church. That'll help people figure out if they can use them or not. So let me know in the comments below what you think, if you can use them, if you can't use them, all those things. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe and I'll see you back here next week.